Hello and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show where we show you one cool thing which we are testing out here in the PC Mag Labs. I'm Sasha Segan, this is Matt Buzzy. If you are watching us live on Facebook, then it is 10 a.m. Eastern and you are participating in the live discussion in the comments section. Social Pete will read your comments out to us. We will talk about stuff. If you are watching us later on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Consider coming over to Facebook at 10 a.m. Eastern to participate in the live discussion. Uh, the product we have today is uh, this laptop here, and and I want to I want to start actually by talking about as as the as the audience filters in. Come on, man. I want to talk about the branding of this laptop. Well, Sasha, please do. Okay, because this is apparently a ROG Strix. It's a ROG Strix. It's a ROG Strix. The and now ROG now, Strix Hero Edition. It's a ROG There's Strix a lot Hero. happening there. And so now now we were uh, this this is a this is an Asus. Uh, ROG Strix Hero laptop, and I was thinking about that, and now apparently Strix are owls. Okay. And uh, ROG is Republic of Gamers. Correct. Which is kind of a terrifying dystopian concept. Indeed. A polity in which all voting members are gamers. Right. Uh, and yet they are also owls. So we have, we have a country and here. And heroes. Yes, we have a country here a using this peoples. laptop. A nation <laughs> where everyone are MOBA playing owls. Yes. Um, is that actually the market for this laptop? That's the demographic, you know. Okay. It. Goodbye, thanks for watching, that's the show. <laughs> if you are a MOBA playing owl, then <laughs> this is the laptop for you. Strix. Yeah, so okay. it is the, uh, the Hero Edition, which is a nod to, to MOBAs, which were in the characters, you know, heroes, champions, what have you. Uh, you can be, and you could be a hero too. I don't know, I don't know if that's mm -hmm. what they're going for. Is this the Hero 2? It feels like the Hero to comma okay. 2. No, this is the Asus ROG, which is of course, as you said, the Republic of Gamers, which is their gaming line for desktops, laptops, pretty much everything uh, that Asus does. Is this gaming a democratic centric. or a representative republic? You know, it's <laughs> a great question. I'm going to hit them up after. Um, yeah, so this is the Hero Edition. It is aimed specifically at mobile players. Obviously, that means it's capable of playing other games, too. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be like, uh-uh-uh, this isn't League. Get this out of here. What makes no, a, no PUBG here. What makes a laptop specifically a MOBA laptop as opposed to, you know, a, a different kind of first-person shooter? Yeah, uh, so like... Um, it's a little, it's a little like branding, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's a little, you know, and it's this popular thing, so people want to buy it because they, oh, I play MOBAs, I'm gonna play that. That's that's your Dota 2s, that's your League of Legends, that's whatever other MOBAs getting shut down because not enough people are playing it. Um, the uh, the the main draws that actually make it MOBA centric, which this is the silliest one. I'm gonna start mm -hmm. here. The uh, as you can see, the Q E and R Q W E and R keys are highlighted on the mm. on the edges because those are the you know, the hot keys you need. Yeah. In MOBAs for skills. Um, that's the silliest one. Obviously, you know where those are without them being highlighted. Yep. They often highlight the WASD keys, which are the movement keys in most games. So on a lot of gaming laptops, those are highlighted. Now, now I have to ask, is, is there something MOBA-esque about the fact that there's a separate numeric keypad? You don't see that that often. Um, I don't think... I don't think Pete. Does anyone use the numpad for MOBAs? No, I don't think so. So why the hell is there a numpad on this thing? <laughs> uh, it's a great Excuse question. Excuse my language. That's that's you know sometimes you just need to do some number crunching on the side. Okay, okay. The for the Republic's accountants and what have you. No, it's <laughs> if you're playing Eve Online. <laughs> right. No, that's not a MOBA. It won't run. Ah! Um, so the actual features, aside from the silly highlights, the actual features. Um, it's it's more about the set of components and features as a as a whole that are MOBA centric. So the screen is is uh, maxes out at 1080p, which is fine because the graphics card inside is a GTX 1060, which is a nice mid range system. It's perfect for pushing HD at 60 frames. Uh, that's what, MOBAs aren't the most graphically intensive thing. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of action going on, so yeah, they can get a, gets a little frenetic. Your frames might chug if you have a worse card. But 1080p, um, s smooth performance. It's a 120 hertz refresh rate display, which everyone wants because that's you know I don't know if everything looks so much smoother that so way. So with 120 hertz. Uh, refresh rate display, that mm -hmm. means you can display greater than 60 frames, so how high can you go? You could go higher if the card was better. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, but the refresh but the, yeah, the refresh rate gives you that extra ceiling. Um, it is a little, as you said, a little at odds with the card mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. it doesn't get up. If it was, yeah. a, if it was a 1070, yeah, you could maybe you hit, those or you could hit those. You could hit those frames for yeah, sure. Yeah, let's take a question. Just someone saying that they actually use a uh, number pad for League. So I guess if you were okay. using your mouse with your left hand, it would make sense. Mm. Okay, okay, I can see that. Yeah. Um, Thank you, League player. Yeah, you get all your all your League hotkeys going on over there. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, uh, processor is uh, is uh, an old Core i7 it's that they seem Gen to I7. find in a dumpster in Taiwan. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> That's harsh. There, oh. no, there are no i7 laptops. There's no i8 uh, gen laptops yet. Oh, okay, okay. So, I mean, there's there's KB Lake R, but the Coffee Lake laptops aren't out. Aren't okay, okay. So, so, that's pretty much still as good as you can, as good as you're going to get. Okay. Um, yeah, so between the GTX 1060, the HD screen, the 120 hertz, uh, that's kind of the actual MOBA-centric features that makes this MOBA-centric. Gotcha, um, gotcha. Other than that, it's just it's branding. It's saying, mm -hmm. hey, you know, Hero Edition, come play MOBAs on this thing. It's it's mid range. It's it's uh, 15.99. I don't know if we said mm -hmm. um, relatively affordable. As far as it's hard to get a GTX 1060 for less than that in a laptop. They don't really. You go down a couple hundred and it's 1050 Ti's. Mm -hmm. um, so and so the seventh gen Core i7 will do you well. It says VR ready here. That just because that a means 1060, it has a 1060. A 1060 can run Oculus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, I'm, I don't want to pick this up and rotate it because we're, it's plugged in because it Battery's was relatively low. low on battery, but I'm going to read out some of the ports here because you all know I love ports. Port time, port um, time. We, have, uh, we have a real Ethernet jack because you may be on a LAN. Yep. Uh, we have uh, what looks like a, a, a teeny little display port, mm -hmm. uh, HDMI out. Two USB C's, headphone jack. What's on that side? Hook it up to extra monitors. We got a USB C and two USBs over here. Okay. So, okay. Extra connections. Uh, yep. Decent suite of ports. It's it's uh, also relatively. I will now do the aforementioned spin and, and yep. turn. Um, it's relatively thin and light. Like it's not the. It's really not the. Um, the like the heftiest thing at all. It's a 15 yeah. inch laptop. It's it's relatively thin. Like they did a decent job. Yeah, uh, I it mean, feels sturdy. Also, you can definitely port it from place to place. It's not the kind of thing you want to be carrying around all day as a road yeah. warrior. If you do want to go play your mobas with your friends in mm -hmm. person, your 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 team all all sitting in the same location. Uh, and it, that's part of why there's this there's this nice Ethernet. Gotta jack be able here. to jack in. Exactly. Um, Jack yeah. in like it's 1999. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, the keyboard is actually really nice. I like it a lot, which is um, another thing that was MOBA centric. I knew, LEDs? I knew there was another thing. Do we get LEDs? Um, in the there's keyboard? LEDs. There's also they're just it's really responsive and kind of mm -hmm. snappy. Um, there was something very specific about the curvature of the of the keycap that was like perfect mm. for so and so. But mm. the keys feel nice is really all you got to know. How's the touch pattern? Does it even matter? Because gamers don't use touch pads. It's fine. It's it's fine. Uh, it's it's there's nothing wrong with it. But yeah, I, I mean I. Hate using touchpads. You think Obviously Drake uses gonna, a touchpad? J Drake probably plays Fortnite on a touchpad. I think oh. so. Drake's actually, a, Drake's actually a console scrub. He plays on his PS4. Oh! Yeah. The more you know. Okay. Uh, can can we can we take another question? How heavy is it? Um, I forget exactly. I think it's about five. It's in the review. I, I it think up. it's about five pounds. Mm -hmm. Where do we have here? Uh, five point six. Five point six. Not too pounds. bad. Yes. Um, so it's not. Uh, there are heavier. There are slightly lighter. But really, mm -hmm. if you're gonna if you're gonna get into much lighter than that territory, you're starting to get into ultra portable territory. Now Gaming I, laptops aren't gonna be less than that. Really. I gotta say, you talk about it having the aggressive gamer aesthetic, but I am not too bothered by it because it's largely monochrome. Mm. Uh, we yes, have, the lack of the red and black aggressive yeah. design is very nice. There's um, a there is a design on the back, but the fact that it isn't say radioactive green right. or blood red, yes. I think that's, does that's tell a positive. you. It's a non-embarrassing laptop. I didn't to use. dislike it as much as some people, as I said in my review, but I felt like I had to note it because pretty much everyone who came up said how much they don't like this. No, oh, okay, so, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, Jono included was a okay. particularly vocal. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at some. Let's take a look at some benchmarks. Ben oh, what... also, sorry. While we're here, mm -hmm. I did mention this in my review. They did describe this pattern as Mayan Mayan themed. A my, we have a Mayan pattern on the lid, and I just want to highlight that, as I did in the text of my review, because I felt like that was entirely unnecessary. That seems so. Here, that seems, that <laughs> so seems here we are. Strange and incorrect. Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at some benchmarks, and of course, the benchmark that jumps out here, and not for a good reason, is the three hours of battery. Yeah. So gaming laptops, right? Am I right? Yeah. No. Gaming laptops. Men's hand, the hand. What's the deal with hand dryers? You know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the gaming laptop batteries just suck. Um, they're not that good. There's there are a few exceptions to the rule. You're gonna hit five hours, maybe a little more on most of them. Uh -huh, this is on uh -huh. the lower end at just three, um, which again for something that's a little lighter and actually is kind of portable sucks that it doesn't last mm -hmm. any longer than that. Um, Razer still killing everybody else in battery life. The blade lasts ten and a half hours. Surprisingly good Photoshop performance. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Just yeah. Out of the blue, um, <laughs> yeah. it really came and killed it on Photoshop. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, it's not like the others are far behind, but that one is notably ahead. So it's, yeah, it's yeah. Odd. So um, I guess I guess if you're a gamer, gamer who is <laughs> also doing a lot of Photoshop, if you're Photoshop an owl. This is the place for you. Photoshop an owl into your game. Well, like if you're, I guess if you're, if if you're like doing like. 
building your mods or oh, yeah. something like that. This is good for the creative gamer. We are really we're, just stretching we're pulling, here. We're pulling. We're, we're, we are owls way <laughs> out on the limb way of the tree. Out on the limb. Yeah, yeah. Sasha's head's rotating all sorts of directions. <laughs> okay, uh, let's take a look at let's take a look at some graphics benchmarks. Ooh, so yeah, average graphics about benchmarks are good. Yeah, average about seventy frames, I'd say, between the two tests on mm. uh, on ten eighty p ultra quality, um, which is pretty good. It's exactly where you'd expect the ten sixty to be. Um, it's doing it, it's doing its job out there, and you can see how much better it is than getting a ten fifty ti. Like mm -hmm. you're not even hitting sixty on those. So oh man, yeah, the extra, the extra few hundred bucks there actually makes a, a pretty big difference. Yeah, the ten sixty is a good card. 50% better performance between the 1050 Ti and the 1060. Yeah, um, it makes a difference for the for like the base like kind of mid range car that you're gonna find in a lot of laptops or cheaper desktops. Mm -hmm. Like compared to the last generation, it's so much more effective. Okay. You'd have to get one of the best cars out of the last generation to push 60 or more frames. So okay, uh, PC gamers, talk to us. Does it use SSDs or NVMe? It and has, I believe, it's so it's a there's a terabyte hard drive and. Um, I think it's an NVMe SSD. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. 256 or 128. Uh, also in the review, um, the boot, obviously the OS is on there, so it boots a little faster. Um, and then you get the big, the big terabyte hard drive just for throwing all your games onto. Okay. Okay. Another question. Also, does it support additional storage? Um, I don't believe so. I think that's. I think it's maxed out. Um, obviously, you could connect external, external. Is drives that a and Thunderbolt USB-C over it there? It is not. Uh. Yeah. It's a super speed USB C, but okay. it's not Okay, so it's a 3.1. Yeah. Yeah, so you can plug your you can plug a USB C 3.1 SSD in there, mm -hmm. and you'll get pretty good responsiveness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Overall, the the feature set's pretty good. It's well made. It feels nice. Uh, 1600, you might feel a, a little much to get just a 1060 out of, and I could like I could like personally, my gut reaction, oh, it's only a 1060. But looking at the market, at least right now, I was gonna say, aren't all the better graphics cards currently being bought by Bitcoin miners? <laughs> Yeah. Um, looking at the looking at the graph at the market right now, there's actually the 1070 systems are even a couple more hundred than that. So it is this is just what you have to pay for a 1060. Or, yeah. Or as you see, you get the 1050 Ti, which is worse. Let's um, take another question. Can it output in 4K? Um, I want to say yes. Through through HDMI, I don't see I don't see why not. I believe those are uh, 4K compatible. I do not remember mm -hmm. off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. I would say yes. Okay. But, but of course, if you're outputting in 4K, your frame rates are not going to be what? Yeah, no, don't be don't be playing while you're doing that. But if you're just yeah. using an extra monitor that you have this 4K on the side. Mm -hmm. uh, for your Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. double check that, because yeah. I don't actually remember for sure. Totally but, for your Photoshop. Yeah. Okay, uh, so uh, 1600, let's see what we rated this thing. Do, 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 do. We rated it three and a half stars, three meaning half. good. There's nothing really wrong with it. Yeah. Um, you might, again, you might feel like it's like uh, paying that much for a 1060, but I mean, it's a sturdy laptop. That's with, what you uh, pay for a 1060. Uh, yeah, that's just kind of what happens. Um, not really anything wrong with it, honestly, unless that's you great. don't, if you don't like the design, which you're not as against, some mm -hmm, people might mm -hmm. not like that. Um, What's our, so, yeah. so, so in this price range for a gaming laptop, what is our, uh, our editor's choice? Is it still the Razer Blade? So we're holding, uh, we're a bit of a holding pattern right now, actually, with this particular price range and category. Um, there was one that was a, a really good value. It actually had a 1070 for about 1800, but that the newer version of that last year was more expensive, and they kind of ruined it. Mm. So um, the old EC technically is is the HP Omen 17 from the oh. last model that they made. The newer wow. one okay. it was too expensive to, to earn it. Um, so yeah, if you want to pay for a 1060, you want to pay around 18 1900 dollars for a 1060. You can get the blade, which is obviously thinner, lighter, looks better, feels better, has a longer battery, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Um, that would be the best kind of mid-range one, but it mm -hmm. is a lot more expensive. It is you know several hundred. Dollars more okay, right. So, there's that. Um, this is a good option. It is MOBA specific. If that bothers you in some way, you're not going to be playing MOBAs on it. Um, but uh, yeah, it does. It, it'll play other games too. Obviously, the more demanding ones aren't going to uh, run super super smooth at the highest settings. But uh, games like MOBAs will be mm -hmm. no problem. Rog Strix, it'll Rog do Strix. what you need. Uh, any more questions out there? No, we're good. Okay, great. So this has been one cool thing with PCMag.com. Uh, thank you all for joining us. If you are on Facebook, we will be back at 10 a.m. Eastern tomorrow with another cool thing. If you are on YouTube, please like and subscribe and check back on our page daily because every weekday we will have another cool thing for you.